Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and like we did with 2.2, I wanted to do a real quick update on new things that are happening in 2.3. Now this is going to be quite a bit shorter than the 2.2 version because there was a lot of new stuff that was implemented there. Now first off in 2.3, we're going to get the easy ones out of the way because you already know about them, but that's going to be that the Starfarer is now hangar ready for those that own one, which includes an extra large outer left hangar bay that you're not even going to see in the configuration for that hangar. Instead, if you have a Starfarer in the Revel in York, it's just going to auto-populate that on the left side of your hangar, and it is big, both the hangar and the ship. The other obvious update is the GN Scout, and you've been seeing me fly that around, so now you know that it's flight ready. And hopefully by the time this hits live, you're going to find yourself a much better flight model than we did in 2.3a. <laughs> Though it's in a pretty good place now that we're in uh, version D of the PTU. Uh, some other changes to take note of is that there's now additional uh, Crusader security out there, specifically at places like the Cry Astros and Port Alizar. So if you're even wanted by one level, they're automatically going to spawn and automatically attack you. All you can really do in that situation is fight them and win, or you can turn and hightail out of there. Um, but wh whatever you want to do, if you want to become unwanted, you basically just need to wait the 10 minutes for that timer to drop down and you to lose your wanted level. Or you can go over to the terminal at Port Correa where there's not going to be Crusader security and, and you can end up hacking that terminal there. Basically though, if you're wanted, you can't really go back to monitored space without the likelihood of being attacked. Uh, in 2.2, they started the implementation process of the new and improved component system and we first saw shields and coolers at it. And now in 2.3, we have the addition of power plants. And with these, all of the ships that we have already in the game now got retrofitted to have what they should. Um, but they've also went about adding two new power plants, which is going to be the Aegis Regulus and the Overdrive by Amon and Reese. And they're going to be available on most of the smaller ships out there that we have to date. Now, I showcased these in my FPS teaser earlier today, um, but the two new weapons that are released in this is now going to be the Arrowhead Sniper Rifle and the uh, Devastator 12 Electric Shotgun. Both are fun, and both are worth going to try out, um, so if you want to watch that other video to figure out how to actually go get them, I would suggest doing so, um, because they are new and they're interesting and they're probably worth your time. There are other changes, like the lighting changes in the Arc Corp, uh, you know, environment and in some of the hangars, as well as uh, some animation changes and fixing some broken issues with some ships. But these were the real high dollar items that are going to get people more excited. So if you want to see the full release notes, I've got a link to it in the comments. Otherwise, I appreciate you all watching. Let me know if you have questions, and I'll be back soon. Take care.